linked to Islam, it is permitted to punish, for example, caning a child by his parent, guardian or teacher, if he or she misbehaves in the house or at school. If so, what type of punishment is prescribed? Caning is not mentioned at all in Hadith. What is mentioned is that when you must punish your children, you do it with great care that you do not damage them and uh, you do not slap them on the face and do not insult them. To respect the children is highly emphasized in Islam and the parents who show respect to the children it is they who bring them up best. So the Islamic concept of bringing up of children is so different from the modern concept that your question does not fit into the ideal uh, Islamic social system whereby the parents are extremely kind and gentle and uh, thoughtful of the dignity of their children. As a result, they also respond in the same way. So the question of this caning, etc., normally does not arise. But if they have committed some mistake, while they have not reached majority, the age of maturity, then the parents are permitted to punish, punish them, but moderately, not with any violence. Hazrat Musimah was particularly uh, averse to parents taking strong and vicious punitive measures against their children. And in one particular case, when it was complained to him that some father beats his child with uh, e even losing control over himself, becomes violent. Hazrat Masih Maudala was so angry with him that I have seldom uh, known him to be so angry with any of his companions. He said, you know, in response to, to this violent behavior, he said, you're only worshipping your own self, your own ego. You're not doing it for the sake of the child. Only because you are offended, you're doing it. And this is a shirk. We say big crime against God. So if you read Hazrat Muslim comments on this behavior of the father, then you will realize that we should not be trigger happy as far as the punishment of our children is concerned. Right? Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. And I'm quite sure you never beat your children. Never. I know that. <laughs> this is why they are brought up so wonderfully and decently. Yes. See, this is the difference. Yes. If you treat your own children with respect and dignity, you produce people like uh, children like uh, Rafiq Hayat and all other Hayats. Yes. They're, they're excellent models, aren't they? Yes. And this is uh, thanks to your uh, common sense and dignity with which you brought them up. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much.